here so um, I thought maybe um, we get a couple things done today one is I want to grout the tile on that shower over at 10th Street and the other is I got over there um, this weekend and I uh, ripped up the well I took that commode out and ripped up some of the flooring in that um, bathroom over there at 10th Street the main level bathroom and um, I probably should have filmed that um, but it's been repaired before so I'm gonna show you more about it and talk more about it when we get over there and um, what we'll try to do is um, I, like I said I want to do the grout first uh, up there on that upstairs shower because that's all that tile works all installed and now we just need to grout it and then I thought I'd um, bring you along while I uh, rip up the rest of that floor down there and we'll talk about how we're going to fix it and um, and some things like that so anyway um, we're going to head over there now and uh, I'll show you more okay so well we got all the tile put up and uh, I went ahead and took me some uh, painters tape and laid in here across here I know we'll have to touch up the paint, but the idea is I want to get the grout down in here and not so much all over the wall. So I put a little tape there and a little tape over here the same way because we've got to grout this line across here. And then, of course, all this gets grouted. And I'm going to show you how to mix up the grout and, um, and then how to apply it. Um, I've showed how to lay the tile and some different stuff in some other videos, but I don't think that we've ever grouted a floor or a wall in a shower or something. So anyway, I thought it turned out kind of nice. I like the the uh, subway tile on thirds like that. I think it looks like a stair step. And then, you know, I wanted some border in here or something to give it a little accent. And then I ran, of course, you can see I stood these up on edge and then started that same pattern over. So I think it looks pretty nice. So anyway, all right, let's go down and mix up some grout and uh, we'll get started. Here's some of the tools we're gonna be using. Um, this is a float. I got a couple of different ones here. I prefer this rubber-based float uh, when using a smooth, non-sanded grout. If you're using a floor, grout this one's got a little bit of a texture so it seems to work better with a sanded floor so we're going to use this one today and then uh, we're also you know we've got sponges here because what we have to do and you'll see this is we're going to have to uh, have a bucket of water and we'll take these sponges in a couple of buckets and you after the I use a pretty rapid set grout and uh, so once it's on there for about 15 20 minutes then you will start wiping it off and uh, we'll get a nice haze on it let it dry overnight and then we'll buff it with a towel tomorrow so i'll probably wait to drop this video so i can show you the whole thing so we'll do this over a course of two days because i like to let that grout set even though it will dry in about four hours uh, i still like to let it set overnight I'm just old school. That's the way I like to do it. So, so anyway, so show you more. All right. We're going to do this much like we did when we mixed up the thin set. 
to set the tile with, which I think I showed in an earlier video. I'm going to use this little fancy tool and my cheap uh, drill. Let's see. And we're going to take some of this grout in this bag here. We'll put some of this in there. Set, you want it to be a, kind of like a cool whip, kind of you know, so it holds its position or holds its uh, shape when you try to scoop it out. Pop you guys off of here a minute. So you can see that it's just kind of like holds its shape. It's 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 not real thick, but it it holds holds its shape. So that's what we're looking for. All right, show you more. I better turn the radio off because. Heaven forbid we would invade anybody's copyrights. And I only say that because I'm a songwriter. And so I know all about how that copyright stuff works. So anyway, we won't get into that. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. I'll try to... Uh, it's kind of close in here, so it's going to be hard for me to stay out of the way of the camera. We're just going to start working this in to these joints. And it's going to cover all the tile up. And you know, you're going to think, oh my gosh, I'm ruining the tile because I'm getting this. In this case, it's a charcoal covered grout all over everything. But in reality, what we're doing is getting it down in these little cracks. So, anyway, we may fast forward through some of this because it's probably not going to be something that you are going to want to watch for 20 minutes. Although I don't really mind you do if you want to watch it. I would like to thank uh, the subscribers. We're up to 60 subscribers now, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so that's all thanks to you guys liking and sharing the videos and getting people out there To watch them, whether it's through uh, Facebook or whether you're private messaging somebody or passing it along on YouTube or whatever, but I appreciate that. Uh, I don't suppose we'll ever make a thousand, uh, but if we ever do, why well, that'll be cool too. I do want to say though that uh, when we get to a hundred subscribers. I'm going to do a drawing for a hundred dollar, no, let me take that back. There'll be two gift cards, $50 each, to Home Depot. So, uh, and how we're going to do that is whoever 
makes comments on the on these videos we're going to take your name and put them into a drawing into a hat and we'll we might we might actually do that live uh do a live version of the show and uh, draw the name out so once we get to a hundred then i'm going to take my um the comments whoever's made comments and we'll um, put their names like i said we'll show them all we'll put them in a, in a basket or a hat or something and then we'll uh we'll draw one out and that person will win a 50 dollars gift card to home depot so and that's the only reason i'm doing home depot is that's what we have in our little area here we have a home depot uh, it's not the only store i buy at by no means but i do buy a lot of stuff there and um, they have pretty good products um, for the most part so anyway Okay, let's get a little closer look at this. And you can see, if you look in there, see that crack doesn't have any in it, but then you fill it up. See how, you have to kind of go back over it because see there's a place right there that has a little bit of, of grout missing out of it. So anyway, we'll keep working at this and then I'll show you when we start wiping it off. All right, show you more. Okay, so what we got here is we got this all put on from, a, from about here down anyway. Since this is quick drying, I don't like to do it too much at one time because it makes it too hard to, uh, to wipe it back off. So, so what we're going to do is we got... Uh, buckets of water here and so we're going to start wiping this off and we're going to wipe gently because we don't want to pull the grout out of the joints we just want to clean the the grout off of the surfaces so so let me set you down here and hopefully I ain't blocking too much of the shot so you can see what's going on but it is kind of tight in here so It certainly is not a big bathroom, but you know, don't have to have a big bathroom. And this kind of smooths the grout out in the joints too, and makes them look more finished. And you get to see where you missed, like right here. I can see a spot I missed. So we'll fill that in. a little of this grout that's laying down here and you don't want to get on this too if you're not using a fast drying grout you may actually have to wait a half an hour or so um, to get it to set up enough because if you start wiping on it right away and it's not a fast drying or fast acting grout then you can actually just wash it all back out so but this stuff's fast acting, fast drying, whatever you want to call it. So, you know. But you also want to get it off quick enough that it doesn't set all the way up because I've had done that before too. And uh, you can't, I mean, once it sets up good, it, it's hard to get it off the surface of the tile. Now, probably not so hard on this white tile because it's a real slick surface. But this brown tile here, it is not a slick surface tile. So, you know, it's gonna be harder to get it off of there. See how that wipes that off there a little bit? 
So we're getting it. It'll clean up. Okay, so I got all the grout in and uh, got everything kind of cleaned up. Just use a sponge and water and you know, there's, I'll have to touch up the paint in a few places and then my masking tape actually tore off some paint over here. So anyway, I've got paint. I wanted to get the base color on anyway uh, before I did all this. I always do that and then I'll just go through and touch all that up. And I'll have to touch up the woodwork. And I knew I would because I, I've got to paint this piece of trim yet. I haven't done that. So uh, I knew I would have to do that. That's why I've waited to do it. So anyway, you can see that, uh, oh, that beam, look at that beam of light coming in from the skylight. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so tomorrow, like I said, we'll, I'll have the camera and um, I'll take a towel. I just use an old bath towel and you can see, see how I rub that and it, it makes it white again. And we want it all to dry. Um, like I said earlier, this is a four hour grout, so actually in four hours you could buff this off, but I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm not gonna wait around till eight o'clock tonight or something. I'll just do it in the morning and uh, I'll show you guys tomorrow morning what it looks like. And then of course we'll put the trim plate on around here and we gotta put the, the plate in around the control valve here. I went ahead and pulled the uh, cardboard that I was using on this and um, that has a when you buy those new they have a clear not a clear but a blue film over them so that's why that's blue looking I'll clean that off uh, you just peel it off there um, so I'll do that as well tomorrow we get it all done and I've got a caulk um, there's some little places right there if you see that little See that little that little notch right there? That's because this shower base is to you can use several different things with the shower base. You can tile it like I've done. Um, you can buy uh, PVC type or plastic walls that snap into those things. Um, and if you remember when we were putting this up, that plastic lip of this tub comes clear up to here. So. All I'm going to do is take some caulk and we're going to caulk up those little places just because they, you know, they show. And then we'll take caulk and go around all of this as well because we don't want water to get down in under the concrete board and get into this subfloor like this over here and rot it out or possibly drip through. I mean, you'd have to have a lot of water to do that, but. You know, this is a shower. Someone's probably going to not get the shower curtain closed right, and it's going to probably get a little water there. So we're going to caulk all this up good with a good bathroom caulk. And we'll probably run it on back around here and just caulk the whole thing. Uh, that way, if water gets on the floor, you know, if the commode runs over or something, um, because this area here will be uh, the tile and everything will hold be pretty waterproof but you know water could seep back along these baseboards and stuff so we'll caulk all that and uh, all right well uh, I'm gonna go down it's it's a lot later than I thought it was I was gonna go down and start on that bathroom but um, I think what I'll do is I'll go down there and we'll I'll show you that uh, what I've gotten going on it so far and then um, and then tomorrow when we film this part here then we'll start working on that floor down there and and i'll just dump it all into this one video so it might be a long one hopefully um you guys have learned something here i know i take a lot longer time and i don't show as much stuff as some people do and you know there's there's several of us on here on the youtube that show home improvement things like this so anyway I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, like I said earlier, we're up to 60 subscribers now, so please get all your friends and, and family members to subscribe and, and watch. We actually have enough hours watched, um, but we don't have enough subscribers. you got to have at least 1,000 subscribers before I can start uh, 
offering t-shirts and you know things like that you know for all the fans of the of the channel so anyway i don't know that we'll ever do that but anyway please like and subscribe and and like i said when we get up to a hundred subscribers uh i'm going to take all the people that make comments and we're going to put their names down or the you know whatever their channel names are some people don't use their names and that's fine I, I use RC industry myself so but um, so we'll take all those names and we'll put uh, write them all down we'll show them all on the camera and um, then we'll dump them in a hat and we'll draw out for a $50 gift card to uh, Home Depot so in celebration of a hundred subscribers so anyway then I'll show you more Okay, here's the commode that was in that bathroom that we're tearing apart in there, the, or the bathroom on the main level. And if you remember in the other videos how nasty it was, and it is, it was really nasty. I didn't show cleaning it up, but um, I still haven't got it all the way clean, and I want to talk about this down in here. You know, people are like, oh, ooh, that's poo, and it's not. What that is, is urine deposits. And that's caused from people who don't flush their toilets. So whenever you leave, you, you know, you you just do number one in the toilet and you think you're saving all this money by not flushing water down the sewer, what you're doing is you're ruining the, uh, or you're causing yourself a lot of problems uh, by not flushing the toilet because it gets urine deposits on it. Now, I can get, uh, some cleaner that I've got at the house and I'll show you when I do it if I if I think of it I'll film it and you can get this stuff off and um, and clean it up but you know just flush the toilet this is a low flow flush toilet you're only using 1.4 gallons you know you're saving yourself a lot of time by just flushing the toilet Unless you don't care about having a nasty looking toilet. I mean, I guess obviously the people who lived here didn't, but um, you know, I like a clean toilet. I, I mean, I've lived in third world countries and um, traveled around, you know, you don't have to keep it clean, but I just don't like a dirty toilet. And people are, I've changed toilets out and people say, well, this toilet, there's something wrong with the enamel because it's got this brown stuff I can't get off. And I'm like, no. And then we usually talk and I'll say, well, how do you flush the toilet every time you go? Oh no, I would never do that. Why? I wouldn't want to waste the water. And I said, well, that's what's caused that because you're not cleaning it. You know, you've got that urine will, will cause even porcelain to, uh, to get deposits on it. So anyway enough on that but just flush your toilets my goodness okay uh, let's head in here I'll show you what I got done in here and uh, Fred why are you in Fred the, the bathtub isn't I haven't even got it fixed yet why are you in the bathtub will you get out of there okay got Fred out of there all right so um, this floor has been worked on before and the reason I know that is if you come down here and look at this this is the original sub floor this is a true one inch rough cut lumber and you can see that through the years it must have leaked and so they cut this out and they put in plywood and then they laid this other this is inch plywood to try to come up to this level well, this is where the toilet actually sits, and so I've just got a plug in it right now. So this inch board is compromised as well, so I'm going to have to cut, and we'll do this tomorrow, but I'm going to have to cut this out all the way through there and around, and then we'll find where it's solid here. Once I, This is the underlayment, or the overlayment, that uh, they've glued this flooring to. So that's all got to come up get us down to this which this is stained but it's still solid this is three quarter inch so I 
I'm going to have to put the inch down here in place of this stuff that's rotted out all the way across. Then we'll put the three quarter inch on it, which will get us up even in the door with door sill over here to the old hardwood flooring. Now, I'm not going to save this hardwood floor, or, or I'm, we're going to save it, I mean, going to leave it down, but I'm not going to try to restore it because it's in really bad shape, and we've talked about that in some of the other videos. So, we'll be laying a uh, quarter inch concrete board over this, most likely, and then uh, when we lay our new flooring which will be a composite floor up to this. Of course, we'll have our transition piece like we put upstairs on that bathroom. Then it'll just butt right up to it and uh, it'll look like uh, the same level. You know, I don't want to step up or step down. So, so tomorrow we'll get in here, I'll get the tripod set up and we'll, we'll start tearing the rest of this out and see what we get into. And um, we'll go from there. We ought to be able to see the basement pretty good by the time we get the floor out because you can already see down to the basement wall there. So anyway, that's just the joys of working on one of these old houses. And I really do like it. So, And you can see, uh, we also had, to, if you remember in the other videos, the tub was sitting like this. And that's because this floor joist that ran across here, um, somebody had cut, I don't know if they did it when they were running the drain line for the tub or something, but they cut it out, so it wasn't even there. So all this water soaked that, and this plywood just acted like a springboard, and it just sank. So what I did downstairs um, is jack that back up, and we put a new piece in, and it's got a one of those steel basement supports down there holding it now. So the tub is up, and uh, it's not exactly level because you want it to tilt a little bit towards the drain. So. But we'll have to come in over here and cut all this old drywall out and we'll put some concrete board in there because we're going to, this concrete board will go up because we're going to put tile on this and that's where the old window was. If you remember from the outside of the house when we were, if you look at the very first video when we do the walkthrough, you'll see where they had the window boarded up from the outside. Of course with the new siding on the house now you don't even see that but so same thing will happen here. We'll just run the concrete board over all that and then we'll put new tile up and we'll tile it. And I'm thinking about that tile will go up all oh, about to about here somewhere and then it'll come down. Uh, and I'm thinking about coming across here where the sink will be just to kind of, I like that look. And uh, so we'll see. I don't know. I might do that and I might not. Uh, but anyway, all right. I'll show you more. Thanks for watching. Okay, that's what we're going for right there. <clears throat> and of course, this is what it looks like before you wipe it off. So, so I'm going to continue to wipe that off. And like I talked about yesterday, the only thing that I really use is just an old towel. And uh, the wife loves it when I take these old towels and wash them in her washing machine. But anyway, <clears throat> you just take a, a towel. And um, and just buff that stuff off. That's what that's how it looks like it does. So anyway, and the other thing I wanted to talk about is this product here. This is uh, get it up there. This is what I'm going to use around the perimeter, like I showed a while ago, um, to caulk that in between the the base of the tub and the floor tile just to make sure that water doesn't slip down in under it or something so anyway I'll show you that as I get to that so all right show you more
Okay, so here we got our covers uh, for the control valve, the new shower head, and we got this trim piece for the neck. So we'll get set up here and I'll show you how to put these on. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. I think we'll pull this off and then we'll take that screw out. I want to be careful not to turn the thing on. That could get wet really quick. Okay, are you remembering how we took this apart now? Because we got to put it back together here as soon as we put this on. Despite the fact I've done this a hundred times or more, sometimes I forget too, so we can always look back on the video. Now this is that boot that we talked about when we put in the uh, Schluter system. So actually if water does get down in here, it hits this boot and it's angled and it falls out. And if you look at the back side of this, this foam seal goes against here, but it is gathered at this point with this little weep hole. So it will run down this way if water does get in behind there. So that's how those work. This is always exciting to get those put on there. This little duker back on there. There. Okay, now let's work on this up here. And I'm not sure how we're going to do this. I may have to just hold the camera. piece just slides on here. There. So that piece goes on there. And then this, this does not have a rubber gasket down inside of it. It doesn't look like. So let me put some thread tape on here. I'm not sure that I can hold this 
and put this stuff on at the same time. So I'm going to have to shut this off. What we're going to do is this stuff is real thin and we're going to wrap this around it tight and then we'll screw the, the shower head back on. So, all right, show you more. Okay. So I got that wrapped around there and then we're going to put this on here. Now that says hand tighten only La Mala Arananta Solamante. So I'm not sure what all that means, but you generally just hand tighten these on here. So, because you don't want to, they're made out of plastic. So, okay. So there is that. And we're going to pull the plastic off of it and then we're going to take that sticker off too. So, okay. I'll show you more when I get ready to caulk up the areas down here. Okay. So we're going to, I got me a paper towel here and I'm wanting to fill in this little groove here. And like we talked about on the earlier, this is so for putting in uh, different types of shower walls that, that these floor plan four floor pans are adaptable to so and I just want to fill in this little hole like that and again I'm using this uh, silicone 10 year mold resistant blah 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 so anyway camera doesn't show it too well but that's what we did so all right show you more Okay, so that's what we got. Now that'll keep water that comes past this lip, and you'll notice I did not caulk from here down this way because I want the water to hit this and roll in. Because if you remember, this pan is clear up to here. So, but we don't want it to go this direction. So we did the same thing over here. So it cannot come down this way. It has to go back that way. So we caulked all this across here. So if water does get here, it's not going to get down in underneath the concrete board and tile and rot out the wood floor. So. All right. It's about time to uh, put the shower rod in. And that goes right up here. So we'll get set up and see. Like we're at about 29 and we don't want it real tight so 29 and I'm going to say 5 eighths. Okay so we're going to do 29 and 5 eighths but I think we're going to just go a little 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 bit more than that, just to as my friend Jerry would say just to just to scotch longer than 29 and 5 eighths so because we want it to be snug I can always take off more but you can't take off or you can't add to it so so we're gonna go about right there WD 
W here. I don't know if you can see that, but WW. I have a lot of WW tools. That's from my great uncle, um, William Wallace. He was a mechanic for almost his life. He was in the Korean War. Okay, well that's noisy enough. All right, so we got this cut, and here's how these work. This thing will slide on here, and then we'll run the screws in, and I'm gonna run them in where the grout lines are, so we don't have to drill the tile. And it's gonna work out just about right. Okay, all right, show you more. Okay, so we got this thing cut, so we want to make sure this is going to fit up here. And this is just about how we want that. Just like that. So I'm going to take this back off of here. Got these nice Glacier Bay shower rings here. <laughs> oh. Okay, I don't know what happened to the camera, but apparently um, it quit when I was putting this up. So anyway, got this put in. Got the shower hooks put on. Now I was limited somewhat to where the position of this is supposed to be. It really ought to be down a little bit, but not this low. So um, what that did was cause our shower curtain to not, it's below the lip here, but not much. So what I'm gonna do is I will try this and see if when you're in here and the water's hitting this if it starts to come out onto the floor then what we'll do is we'll get some different hooks they make hooks that are that come down and then they are a little lower and we'll drop this down another inch so, anyway we'll see all right we got the shower done finally glad that uh, that that thing is all in and so once the caulking around here sets up, then I'll run the shower and we'll see how it does. All right. I'm going to go head down and work on that floor a little bit. And then we're probably going to have to call it a video. I'm sure we got quite a bit on this one. So anyway, remember to share and like. And, uh, you know, hit that like button. Uh, be sure and share it. I think I already said that. And uh, we'll do more here in just a little bit. Okay, I think I'm about out of room on my memory card, so I'm gonna start tearing up some of this floor. And uh, I don't know how much of it you'll get to see, but you can watch. And if it gets real boring, fast forward to it. But just be sure and share the video with other people we still need to get 40 more subscribers and then we're going to do the drawing for a hunt or for a $50 I keep seeing a hundred for a $50 gift card to Home Depot so be sure and 
like it and share it and get the other people to subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now. And a lot of people tell me, well, I don't know my account on YouTube and that's why I won't. That's why I don't subscribe to your channel. Well, I bet you know how to get all of the other codes and stuff that you forget, like your bank account and all that stuff. It's the same way with YouTube. You can figure it out. So anyway, I digress. Enjoy. joke and in parody is nothing more than Saturday Night Live comedy or the Great Gutsville show. Tallulah, run! Hi, baby! 